right, welcome back, everybody. To 79 Alpha 21. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Apocalypse Ranger series. Uh, we're going to start off this episode by getting ready to sell a whole bunch of stuff to the traders and make ourselves some coin, and then we're going to go off and do uh, a new Tier 1 episode for Trader Hugh. If you didn't catch the last episode, uh, we're going to start building up, uh, going up through the ranks with Trader Hugh uh, with the intent to try new POIs that we have not yet done. Okay, so, um, oh, and we're also going to retire these worthless uh, knuckles as well. In fact, let's work on that first. So I'm going to go here. We're going to try clubs, and then if clubs also don't float my boat so much, uh, we'll go to sledgehammers. But I don't even have a sledgehammer at the moment either. In, uh, anyway, so we'll have to wait till we come across one. So we found these two steel clubs in the last episode, and it looks like this one here is the better of the two. Uh, so this is going to become our new weapon. That one we'll just sell. Let's take all of the mods off of here. And we'll put them on here, at least the ones that it'll let us put on there. Um, actually, we have club mods in here. So probably this does that's a 20% chance to cause bleeding, 40% with power attacks. <sighs> okay, or each successive hit lowers enemy's armor rating by 20%. Let's go with that one. What, what does this one do? Oh, that's a knockdown, yeah. Yeah, let's go with the spikes. I'm pretty sure we can't use all of these. I think they're mutually exclusive, but let's just see. So if we put this one on... Yeah, we can't put, we can't put those on. All right, and what does this do? This is just a... Oh, yeah, when your health is lower. Okay, that's not bad. Weighted head mod, definitely useful. And we definitely want a rad remover. So I think that's a pretty good setup uh, for our new club. Let's try to get a feel for the, for the speed of it. Uh, we do have... Let's see, where, what are clubs? Clubs are strength. And we do have big and fast, okay. So basically, that's as fast as it's gonna get. And I don't, uh, again, kinda like with the knuckles, I don't see that the normal attack is that much faster than the... Yeah, I, I think the normal attack's a little bit faster. But um, we'll probably just be using the power attack for the most part. Okay. So we'll get this to try and see how we like it. Uh, definitely do not like uh, the Knuckles. My assessment of the Knuckles, if you didn't watch the last episode, is that they're fine for probably early to mid game. But once you get into this end game and you're starting, you know, getting irradiated zombies and even ferals, it just they're just not effective enough. Um, they don't uh, They don't disable the zombies quickly enough before that you know you you take quite a few licks yourself so we'll see how the club does um we might as well also put some green paint on our club because why not okay so that takes care of that um now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab i, I had started some glue in here i think we're gonna need to turn all of this glue into duct tape <coughs> Gazuntite, excuse me. Let's hang on to four glue. Well, no, actually, let's hang on to five because a lot of times you need five glue for mods and stuff. And we're going to turn the rest of this into duct tape. Because then we're going to need to uh, make ourselves a, uh, several repair kits, most likely. I've got some, but we've got a lot of stuff to repair. All right, now let's go to here. And we're going to pull out... Uh, everything that needs to be repaired. That doesn't need to be repaired. That's... That's so close that I don't think we'll worry about it. Look at all these machetes we have. It's crazy. Okay. I think that's all of the stuff that needs to be repaired. And, wow, that's a lot of stuff. I'll tell you what, I don't think I'm going to bother. How much does this sell for? 160 Well, yeah, let, let's just repair it all. We might as well. So I'm going to get started with, with this. This is going to need a pipe to repair. 
And we're also going to need a piece of cloth to repair that cloth armor. So let's do this one first. And where's the cloth armor? Okay, so that... Oh, I guess we need a little more cloth. There we go. Okay, so we can stick these two back in here for the nuts. Oh, yeah, I guess this needs to be repaired too. That all looks good. Okay, let's go through and, get, and start repairing all this stuff. All right, guys, we're back, and I got everything uh, repaired. Ended up having to make uh, some more repair kits. Uh, so now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take... And actually, why don't we... I'm going to put my normal inventory in here for now, except for we want to keep the sugar butts with us. We want to keep the moonshine and the, and the pie and the coin. Um, we'll keep one stack of 762 with us. We need to actually eat, though. So let's do that right now. Now, uh, just so I'm not mixing up, you know, my other stuff with what we currently have. I think we'll have enough room to keep everything on our toolbar. And we want to definitely want to make sure we're using the Magnum when we're selling, because we get that extra 5% boost with this, too. Okay, so now, uh, what is the most valuable thing in here? That's worth 3360 Uh... 20, 7, 15, 6, 94, 22, 40, 30, 60. Okay, so that's 30, 60. That's 30, 60. Uh, and then these are 30, 60. So I think those are the most valuable things that we we have in here so what we want to do is we want to mod the crap out of these as much as we possibly can with whatever we can put on them so i know we can put the shovel thingy on there and we can put this on the shotguns none of the rest of those mods will work okay let's go over to um oh I was going to show you what we had in this uh, security camera thing. So we got uh, three electrical magazines. That's useful. Some tripwire posts, some electric wire relays, motion sensors. Uh, the speakers, yeah, those aren't really worth a whole lot. But the other stuff actually is useful because, you know, we need motion sensors to make, um, like, turrets and powered doors. So we'll definitely hang on to that stuff. I'll hang on to the speakers for now. I don't really... I mean, I think you can set those up to... And we don't need three wiring tools, so we'll just sell this. You can set them up to alert you, I think, when zombies show up, but... Whatever. Okay, so... Um, let's focus first on the, the two shotguns. Um, we'll put all this stuff down here. So what else can we put on a shotgun that we have in here? We can put that on. Uh, I think we can put magazine extender mods on a shotgun. I think we can put laser sights. I know we can put reflex sights if we can't do the laser sights. Uh, we can put a duck bill. We, we can't put tube extenders on uh, auto shotguns, but I do have a pump shotgun too so we'll pull that out of there and we can put full auto mods on those all right let's see where we're at with that so we'll put the duck bill the auto the foregrip that actually um yeah we'll put that on okay so that increases this value um to 6048 Cool. So it almost doubles the value of it. 
let's do the same thing here. So we'll put the uh, the trigger, the duck bill, the foregrip, and the laser. Very good. Okay, so these guys are ready to sell. We're going to make a ton of money on those. We'll set these off to the side. Let's, um, where's my shotgun? Let's just modify this right now just to get this out of the way. All right, now we have these these two impact drivers. So what can we put on an impact driver? We can put bunker busters. I think my current tools are fully modded already. Right, that's a four slot deal, right? Yeah. So we want to check those first, of course. Um, did I put my axe in here? Yeah, that's fully modded too. Okay. So back to this. Um, we can put bunker bunker uh, bunker bunkers, bunker busters, iron breakers. Um, I don't can we? I don't think we can put tempered blade mods on impact drivers, but we'll try it. Pretty sure it's not gonna let us do it though. Okay, so impact driver modify. Bunker, shovel, iron, and that's it. What do we have on this impact driver? We have a weighted head mod. But I'm not going to make mods just for the sake of putting on and selling because we just, it's not that big a deal. We got a ton of money, or we will have a ton of money. And there's not a whole lot from the traders that will buy. The The one thing I am it would be interested in buying from them, though, is, you know, vehicles or vehicle parts. And they are expensive, so. But I don't want to spend a ton of time trying to min-max this either. We're just going to use what we have and call it good. Okay, so I don't think anything else can go on an impact driver as far as I know. So, uh, no, not equip. Shut up. Shut up, Screamer. Modify. Um. Hold on. We don't have another bunker buster, do we? No, we have another iron breaker, but we don't have another bunker. Alright, let's go deal with stupid Screamer. my ammo away <laughs> um okay so yeah I don't think there's anything else that we can do or the impact driver in the way of mods. So it is what it is. So that impact driver is 5,184. This one is 4,500. It's back in there. Okay. What is the next most valuable thing in here? Probably going to be... Uh, there's a couple things. Where, yeah, that's 26... This is 21, 17, those are 25, Thirteen, fifteen. those are 2,000, 17, 15, 17. Oh, we got this stuff down here. That's 16. That's 700. That's 15. 15. 
649. Okay, so I think this little group here is our next most valuable items. And none of those mods can go on any of this stuff. Well, actually, the SWAT helmet. We can put this on the SWAT helmet. And then we can also put that on the SWAT helmet. I don't know if the banded armor will be worth more or not. We can try it. And that could go on the SWAT helmet. And this could go... Well, you know what, though? That's the only one of those I have. I think I'm going to hang on to it just in case. Okay, so currently the SWAT helmet's worth 2160 If we modify it with those three things, it's worth 41.4. If we put this one on instead... It's it's the same. 4104. Okay. Um so it doesn't matter. And I ha I ha all of my armor has banded armor plating, so we don't need to hang on to one. <laughs> Alright, is there anything else we could put on this hat? A light. Yeah, duh. <laughs> um uh, right here. Helmet light. Okay. Okay, so we just bumped the price of that guy up to 4752, which is pretty nice. All right, the next most valuable thing is going to be 2624 this guy. Okay, so let's see what we can put on you. We know we can definitely put you and you on there. Move this stuff down here. And so we need two more gun mods. Uh, are there any more gun mods in here? No. We already have that on there. We could put this the 4X scope on it. Well, no, no, we can't though because we got the reflex sight. We can put this the silencer on it. And we should be able to put a full trigger thingy. Uh did I wait, did I oh here it is. Okay. I couldn't see it for a second. Good, so we bumped the price of that up to 47. Now the these impact drivers are the next best thing, but I don't think we don't really have a whole lot else we can put on an impact driver. We can put this on one of them. And I think that's it. For what we have in here. Let's pull this stuff back out of here so it's all my mods are in one place. So we can put a, uh, a iron breaker on there, and, and so that brings this price up to thirty sixty one. We don't have anything for that one, so it's just going to have to be sold as is. Okay, let's do the next SMG. We'll put those two guys on there. Um. I think we can put the weapon flashlight mod and one of those dudes. No, we already have one of those dudes. Can't do the scope of the trigger group. And the Kriplum mod. Actually, I want to hang on to that, though, because that's the only one I got. Can you put one of these guys on an SMG? Let's find out. Yeah, we can put those two on. And that'll go on, but not the tripod. Or bipod, I should say. Okay, so that brings the price of this up to thirty-six fifteen. For this guy, we can put an extender. We want to keep that. We can put this guy on. And a trigger mod. And we can put... I'm gonna, yeah, no, we don't need to keep this reflex sight, do we? Yeah, maybe we will. Let's do the 4X scope. Nope, he doesn't want that. Okay. Oh, maybe it can only take a 2X scope, probably. Uh, Alright, I'm going to hang on. Well, can I make a reflex sight mod? I can make it. Yeah, I can make it. Alright, let's just use it then. Very good. Okay, so we've really significantly bumped the value up on that stuff. 
What do we have next? Uh, we've got all of these machetes. Those are worth 15. That's 13. That's 15. That's 7. Um, the, that's 17. That's 9. 15. 15. 16. 15. That's worth 17. That's worth 15. And then all of these guys. Okay. Um... I'm just going to put these down here. I'm just trying, you know, I'm trying to do this in order of value. All right, what else can we put on a shotgun? We already have the tube extender. We could put, can I make a cripple mod? I can. Okay, let's just use the cripple mod. So we should be able to put that on the shoddy. Because everything else is fully modded, right? Pretty sure. All right, so we'll put the crippler on here, and we don't. Now we don't want to put the magazine extender. We can't put the trigger group on that, and I think that's all we can put on the shotgun on the pump shotgun. All right, next is the helmet. We can put this on the helmet, and can I make the water purifier mod? I can. Okay, what the hell? We'll put that on the helmet, too. In fact, well, this one's already fully modded, right? Yeah. Modify. Okay. Uh, we can put one of these armor um, pocket mod thingies on there. And is there anything else that we could put on there? We could put a light. There's nothing else in here that would go on a helmet. Okay, let's go here and pull a light off of this cheaper mining helmet. And we'll put it on here. And, uh, yeah, okay. Next, we have the nail gun. We're going to kind of be in the same situation with the nail gun, I think, that we were with these impact drivers. There just isn't really anything that we can put on here. So, yeah, we're going to just sell that straight up as it is. Okay, steel axe. Can I make a burning shaft mod? I can. Okay, so let's put... Uh, let's put the burning shaft on this axe here. And I think that's it. I don't think we can put anything else on it. So that's going to apply to that. It's going to apply probably to this. Okay, steel club. Let's grab one of these barbed wire thingamadoodles. And put that on there. And we can't also put those on at the same time. So I think that's it. We it for the that steel club. This is our good one here. So okay. We have all these blade mods that we can put on all of these machetes. So let's do that next. this 
additional machete, but I don't think I don't have anything else that I can put on there. Okay. Moving right along here. Uh, next most valuable stuff is probably going to be this sniper for 13. Um, yeah, we're kind of getting down to where it doesn't matter a whole lot anymore. Or as much anyway. So we'll grab these clothing items here. There's not going to be anything we can put on the steel knuckles. I don't think. No, I'm pretty sure there isn't. I don't think there's going to be anything we can put on either one of these tools because we didn't have anything for that axe. So we might as well put those in place. That we have a mod we can put on. Probably not anything for the pipe rifle either. Okay, we want to pull another helmet light mod off of, I guess, you? Yeah. So we can put it on here. All right. For this rifle, I think we can put the extender and the scope and the bipod. On a five. Good. And can we put this on there? Maybe we can. Let's see. We can indeed. Okay, nice. So that bumped the value of that up quite a bit. Okay. Uh, we have three pieces of clothing all of which can take uh, pocket mods, and two of them can take bandoliers. This we're going to put on the crossbow. Oh, wait, can we put that on the crossbow? No, we can't. Okay, but we can put this on a crossbow. Don't think there's anything we have in here that'll go on this pipe rifle. Okay, let's grab this, uh, one of these blue mining helmets. And we can put that on the blue mining helmet. Brings that value up quite a bit. And I think that's it, guys. I don't think there are, are any more mods in here. That. Uh, wait, can we put this on the pipe rifle? Maybe we can. Nope. Didn't think so. And there's no more guns in here, right? No, just helmets and some ammo and some kniffies. Okay. Yeah, I think that's that's as good as we can do with the mods that we currently have. Uh, but there's a lot of money sitting here, like a crap ton of money. So now for the rest of this, we're just going to um, grab it more or less in the order of its value. I'm not too worried about it being exact. Just sell all those extra arrows there. And then this is all just stuff that... Um, that we sell straight up, you know, that we can't mod. So let's get all that in our inventory too. Good. All right. We're ready to go. Um, so we do have, we're, we currently have 47-ish uh, thousand coin. Um, we've got our Magnum. We've got pumpkin cheesecake, one awesome sauce, and five sugar butts. And we have, uh, we should have our stove. 
Yep, got our stoke. So yeah, we're gonna make some money. All right, guys, I will see you at the trader. Uh, we'll go to Trader Hugh first since he's the closest. We'll sell as much as we can, then we'll run over probably to Wrecked um, and sell that. And then when I'm done doing that, we'll go... We need to go east. Get out of here, Screamer. Uh, we'll come back, we'll get our gear, and then we'll go do that Tier 1 quest. This better be good. Oh, it's going to be good, trust me. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, go ahead and throw back the sugar butts. Pumpkin cheesecake. Awesome sauce. And uh, let's make a shit ton of money. We have our magnum uh, equipped as well. Okay, this is what we ended up with. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 160,000 uh, coin plus another 1,325. Pretty darn good. These are all the things that he wouldn't buy. Uh, so yeah, I'd say we made uh, some substantial cash on that deal. That's all the stuff we sold him. Good luck with that. Um, let's see, we have three minutes left on our... Awesome sauce. Is there another one in here we can buy? Yeah, let's just buy another one so we have it in case I can't make it to the next trader. Um, the next closest trader probably is going to be Wrecked uh, or Joel. Wrecked is going to be closer. Yeah, let's go to Wrecked next. See if we can get there before our awesome sauce wears off. Okay. Uh, how, how about I empty your pockets? How about you buy a bunch of shit from me? Um, let's sell the most valuable things first. And he's not going to want that fourth one. Then these would be the next most valuable. And then after that, it doesn't matter. He doesn't want any of that stuff either. Oh, and this. Definitely. Okay. Very good. Uh, so now that brings us up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 160,000, 160,000, 16,270, right? 100, no, 176,000. <laughs> that didn't sound right. 176,000 basically with and change. Not bad. Be careful out there. Okay, so we've got a nice little chunk of change there, ladies and gentlemen, for... Um, some very big purchases from the traders if they have something. Probably mostly vehicles are all we would be interested in. Uh, I will buy uh, vehicle magazines from them too. Let's just see. He's got a, a rat red. A red rat. Rat red? Red rat. I'm also interested in a sledgehammer if they got a good one. Okay. Just get the fuck out of here. Let's try out our new club. <laughs> I put him down, didn't it? Very nice. Get out of here. Okay. You know, honestly, I have not used a club, seriously used a club in this game in a long time. I used to use it almost exclusively back in Alpha 16. Okay, that works. Definitely more effective than the stupid uh, knuckles. All right, so I'm going to go back to the base, get equipped, and then I'll meet you guys at our quest location here in just a bit. Kind of impressed. Hey, leave my dog alone. Get him, dog. Good job, Snowball. Wow. 
wiring. Okay, we are here at Marvin's getaway. I've actually probably done this. I think this is the place that has the... Um, yeah, it has the cellar. What is this? This is a, just a clear? Okay. Alright. Are you just outside Zeke's? Hey! You see that guy just duck right underneath me? What the hell, man? Quit ducking down. He did. Oh, Nurse Nancy's out there. Okay, um... See what's in here. Don't want any of that shit. Don't want the yucca seed. Don't need paper. I will take the glue. Okay. Did a reasonably good job on the greeny there. Stay down. Take all of that stuff. Up to the attic. Okay. So so far it's um it's not bad the club but I still don't think it's as good as a sledgehammer. Oh, no. Don't break that. All right. That stuff kind of sucks, but you know, tear one, right? I guess that's it, right? Alright, let's go turn this in and we'll just grab another one. Mailbox. Man, how come we're seeing all these firemen's almanacs? It's because I find food and loot. I think it's probably because we invested in clubs. Maybe? Can't think of what else that we've done recently that would start to make those appear. I sure doubted it, but you pulled it off. We'll take the Molotovs. Oh, that's right. We get to choose two things, huh? Molotovs and... Uh... I guess the coal. Um, because we can turn that into gunpowder. I mean, the rest of that stuff's just not worth anything to speak of. Um, okay, we've got, um, a clear trust you. at the Wet's residence. Don't, Don't know if I've done that, so we'll, we'll go do it. Doesn't sound familiar. We'll double loot the mailbox. Can we put uh, a flaming mod on here? Let's let's take the flaming mod off of here. And we'll put this other thing we'll do on the axe. Just because it gives us a little more light when we're in the buildings. Alright, we'll go check the mailbox again. Robotics. OK, 
Okay, this is a clear. Oh, there's our sledgehammer. Not. <laughs> it's a dude up there. Come on down, buddy. And that took him out reasonably flat, uh, fast. Paintbrush. Is there... What? What is this here for? Okay, but why, though? Why do I care? Are we supposed to come over to this garage at the end? Don't know. Hey, a POI where we actually go through the front door. What do you know? You both dead? Looks like it. Ah, nice vehicles. The one advantage, of course, the club has over the sledge is it's faster. So there is that. All right, let's go this way. Shelf, great heist. I was hoping we'd get to the end of that because I think that's the one that gives us a nice lock, lock pick buff. I do have a mod uh, rad remover on here, right? Yeah, okay. This POI is vaguely familiar, but I can't say for sure that we've actually done it. So there's a couple of POIs that have this like double closet set up. The rifles. Okay, up to the attic we go. He's dead. Uh, retractable stock. We'll learn that. That way we can make it later if we want to. Yeah, you know what? I think I have done this. I might not have done it on this series, though. We might have done it in our our first Alpha 21 experimental. Which is probably why I didn't immediately recognize it. There's the loot. 10% more damage against coyotes. We'll eat the pears. Take the rest. Candyland and some oil. All right, cool. See you back at the trader for the turning. Well, speak quickly. Mm, let's take the Molotovs and the duct tape. Okay, next job. Uh, we got a clear got a job at Camp me. Carlson. We'll, we'll take it. I don't yeah. think I've been at Camp Carlson, but who knows? Um, let's see. How far away is Camp Carlson? Oh, it's right over there. Let's go knock that out real quick and then we'll wrap up the episode. This is just a clear. Hello, Zombos. Everybody wake up. Then we can just get you all at once. All right, come here. One more zombo up there. That's it. Okay, see so what we get in the fat loots. Oh, nice. Uh, is that better than what we have? It is not. We'll sell it. Handguns. We can now make a 44, low quality 44 Magnum. Um, let's check this loop here, and... Let's 
Check this here. That there. This here. This here. And that's probably it. Yeah, there's I'm sure there's a couple more things, but close enough. Hey, we got some honey. It's a beautiful thing. You must think you're pretty hot shit now. Mm, well, you did kinda it, so I'll honor our agreement. Do. Uh, let's take the repair kit and the glue. Wait. Don't we get two options? Uh, it's only giving us one option now. Why? Why, why, why? I don't, I don't get it. Uh, I think the repair kits are the best thing. Oh, we have to, we have to select it. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Next job. He's got a fetch I at Moe's Grocery. If you think we've clear. done that. Right. I think. Suit yourself. Though here again, maybe not on this series. What's the other one? There's this Abandoned situation. Shady Shed Farms. I don't know Ready. if I've done that. That's what we're going to do. But we're going to have to do that next episode, ladies and gentlemen, because we are out of time. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode, where I think we'll probably just pick up right where we left off and just keep speed running uh, these tier ones and go from there. Okay, goodbye. Mm -hmm.